Hello, everybody. Lucas Henneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday, which is all about the Mayfly Pedal Company and this pedal right here, which is the Sketchy Zebra. This is a very interesting phaser and vibrato pedal made by Trevor May from Mayfly Audio. Trevor is actually from my hometown of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And if you can't tell based on that intro clip, he makes some pretty funky stuff that I really, really dig. So today's episode is all about the backstory of Mayfly pedals as well as this pedal right here. Now let's start off by listening to Trevor talk about how these pedals came to be. Hey Lucas, thanks for having me on your channel. I'm going to talk about guitar pedals. So the guitar pedal thing started as a COVID project. We were a working band and I was using an Axe FX on stage because it was just convenient. So when COVID hit, all the gigs kind of disappeared. And so we were looking at each other saying, what should we do? So uh, we decided at that time that we were going to keep rehearsing once a week and we do it at someone's backyard ac acoustically. Now my sound's electric, so I couldn't do it acoustically. So I needed to suddenly build an amplifier. Then once I had an amplifier, I found that I needed pedals. So I built a bunch of pedals from kits and uh, specifically overdrive and a few other things, phaser, etc. cetera. Uh, I built a couple of delays as well, and I didn't like them. They didn't sound very good to me. So I was, I was kind of annoyed and I built some clones of some very famous pedals that people raved about, but they didn't sound very good. So I decided to just design my own. My background is in high tech. I have done pretty much everything from embedded software all the way to integrated circuits. And uh, my first job was designing and laying out printed circuit boards. So this was not that much of a stretch for me technically, although the artistry of circuit design in this space is can be pretty crazy. Uh, you can do some accomplish some amazing things if you break all the rules. What an inspiring story that is. I mean, to take an otherwise unproductive time in the world for so many people and turn it into something so fulfilling, not only for yourself, but for so many other people, it's amazing. So thank you for that, Trevor. And thank you for lending me this pedal to review on the show today. Sketchy Zebra. So this thing, it's a phaser and vibrato pedal, as I said earlier. This turns on and off the pedal. This switches modes between phaser and vibrato. We have controls for speed, manual, and feedback. Now, as far as I hear it, the speed control just affects the speed, of course, of the pedal. The manual, in a sense, adjusts the intensity and kind of the frequency range of the effect. And the feedback is almost like a tone control. So I'm going to mess with these controls as I demo the pedal. So we're going to start off, I'm going to pick up a telly, and I'm going to demonstrate the phaser mode to start. Thank you. 
What a range there, all the way from slow and dreamy up to fast, throbbing, funky sounds. This thing has a lot going on. And that's just the phaser side. I'm going to come back on in a second and show you guys the vibrato side of this pedal, which is certainly a little bit more on the intense end of the spectrum. But before I do, I'm going to have Trevor talk to you guys about where this pedal came from, what inspired him to make it, and I think the question that everyone wants to know the answer to, where the heck did the name Sketchy Zebra come from? <laughs> so the first pedal that I designed was the Sketchy Zebra. This phase shifter was inspired by something my kids said to me one day. We were watching Harry Potter, of all things, and one of the spells sounded like the kids saying, Sketchy Zebra! Sketchy Zebra! And the kids were running around the house saying, Sketchy Zebra, Sketchy Zebra. And I thought, well, that's a good name for something. What would that be a good name for? And I thought, it's got to be a phase shifter. Phase shifter, Sketchy Zebra, of course. So I thought, okay, what's the best phase shifter out there that I can have a look at that and see if I can make improvements on it? And it was the Electro Harmonics Bad Stone. I had an original one of these in the 80s. And it was great, but it was a piece of crap too. It would break all the time, required two nine volt batteries to work. And when you stepped on it, the volume would drop, but it was the best phaser sound ever. And so I said, okay, well, that's a good starting point. So I looked at, there's a whole bunch of versions of that. Electro Harmonics changed them over the years many times. So I picked a version and started with that and built it and prototyped it and changed it and changed it and changed it and changed it and what resulted was this. So this is a phase shifter based on the Electro Harmonics Bad Stone. Um, it's got more features than that, it's a lot quieter than that, it's a lot more reliable than that, and it doesn't drop the volume off when you step on it either. Um, but yeah, this is the first one, the Sketchy Zebra. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I wouldn't consider myself a vibrato pedal expert, but I love what this thing does. I think it nails it. It sounds great. So yeah, there you have it. The Sketchy Zebra six-stage phaser and vibrato pedal made here in Ottawa, Canada by the one and only Trevor May at Mayfly Audio. 
If you like this demo, I am going to link in the description box below to Trevor's website. If you liked this pedal, I am going to also link to two local stores that sell this pedal and ship all over the world. Spaceman Music and Lozon's Music. If you're from Ottawa, don't hesitate to go down there and check it out. I am going to be featuring a few more of Trevor's pedals in the coming months, so please do stay tuned for that. He's got a couple gain pedals that just sound ridiculous, so don't be afraid to check out those videos. If you liked it, please do give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought. I'm going to play you guys out on one final clip where we gain this thing up. I'm going to take a couple of Trevor's gain pedals and I'm going to goose this thing with them and we're going to do something a bit more in the Hendrixy kind of vein. Thank you so much for watching. We will see everybody again next Tuesday. <laughs>